For decades, the moon remained silent. Since the end of the Apollo and Luna missions, humanity turned its eyes toward more distant worlds, as Earth's natural satellites seemed to have nothing left to offer. But all of that changed suddenly, quietly. Rockets began to rise. NASA revived its lunar ambitions with the Artemis program. SpaceX emerged with revolutionary technologies. And on the other side of the world, China launched a strategic and scientific offensive that reignited the space race. But why exactly has everyone turned their attention back to the moon? And more importantly, what was discovered on the far side? The one we never see from Earth. What is truly buried beneath the lunar dust. This is the story of a mission that went unnoticed by many, but may have changed the course of space exploration. China's arrival on the far side of the moon. The Chinese lunar program began modestly in the early 2000s, but with a clear, detailed, and progressive plan through the China National Space Administration or C. The country launched a chain series of missions, named after the Chinese moon goddess. Each step was meticulously designed to achieve a scientific, technical, and strategic goal. In 2007, Change 1 mapped the entire lunar surface in 3D, analyzing soil composition and revealing something surprising traces of helium-3, a rare isotope on Earth but potentially abundant on the moon holding the promise of revolutionizing clean energy production through nuclear fusion. Three years later, Chengchu returned with higher resolution cameras, flying just 15 kilometers above the surface and identifying possible safe landing sites. The Chinese plan was only beginning. In 2013, China proved to the world its technological capacity by achieving its first soft landing on the moon with the Change 3 mission. The lander touched down in the Mare Imbrium region on the near side and released the Yuta rover or Zhaji rabbit. For the first time since 1976, a vehicle once again rolled across the lunar soil. It not only captured images and analyzed rocks, but also carried an ultraviolet telescope the first lunar observatory in history. This achievement officially placed China among the space powers capable of operating robotic systems on the moon's surface. But the true turning point was yet to come. This time on the side no human had ever seen up close. In 2019, the Change for Mission made a historic soft landing on the far side of the moon inside the Von Kahaman crater located within the immense South Boletcom Basin, one of the largest impact structures in the solar system. This site is unique, always facing away from Earth and remaining in complete radio silence. No previous mission had ever been able to explore it due to the impossibility of direct communication. China solved this with an engineering feat. The launch of the Kuikyao Relay Satellite, positioned at the Earth-Moon Elidois point ensuring communication between the lunar land and mission control. For the first time in history, a rover actively operated on the far side of our natural satellite. The U-22 rover, an advanced version of the original, began exploring this uncharted territory just 12 hours after landing. The images it sent revealed a landscape completely different from the near-sight pure lava seas far more craters and mountains. This contrast had long puzzled scientists. The mission delivered data that helped explain why the two sides of the moon are so different. Soil analysis revealed a thicker crust shaped by ancient impacts and primordial materials never recycled by volcanic activity. But it wasn't just rocks and craters that drew attention. In 2020, during the Change 5 mission, which brought lunar samples back to Earth. Chinese scientists announced the discovery of a brand new mineral. Change a site. Why? This mineral was not only unique, but also contains traces of helium-3. Just 40 grams of this element could provide the same energy as 
5,000 tons of coal. It is estimated that the moon may hold more than 1 million tons of helium-3. If extraction on a large scale becomes possible, this resource could meet Earth's energy demands for thousands of years. Since its earliest missions, China has been mapping the distribution of this element. The race for helium-3 may become the lunar equivalent of the 20th century gold rush. But the discoveries didn't stop there. In mid-2019, Yututu spotted something unusual a shiny substance inside a small crater. Unlike the surrounding terrain, this material reflected light in a strange way, sparking speculation across the internet. Somi wondered, could it be something alive or perhaps liquid on the moon? Images were not released immediately, fueling even more rumors. When finally revealed, they showed a dark, glassy substance. Later analysis confirmed it was impacting melted rock, rich in minerals such as olivine and pyroxene similar to samples brought back during Apollo missions, but from a completely new location. Even though it wasn't alien, it was still a discovery of high scientific value. Another surprise came from the biological experiment on board Change 4. A small container, about the size of a paint can, carried cotton and potato seeds, fruit fly, eggs, and yeast. In January 2019, scientists confirmed that one cotton seed had sprouted, becoming the first plant to grow on the lunar surface. Though it survived only a few days due to the extreme cold of lunar night, this milestone symbolized the possibility of biological experiments beyond Earth. This experiment proved that cultivation could begin outside our planet 10, essential step for building permanent habitats. International reactions were mixed. Scientists worldwide praised the achievement. NASA's then administrator Jim Bridenstine publicly congratulated China. But China's success also raised alarms in Western space agencies. While US law prohibits direct cooperation with China in space projects, there was indirect scientific exchange, especially through European partners. The European Space Agency even provided instruments for change missions. Still, the far side's isolation also fueled conspiracy theories. Some speculated about mysterious structures, anomalous objects, or hidden artifacts. A famous case was the so-called Lunar Hut. In 2021, Yutut spotted a cube-shaped silhouette on the horizon. The internet exploded. With speculation, had the rover found a monolith, an alien structure? The, the nickname Mystery House spread quickly. But as the rover approached, the truth became clear. It was just a rock with a peculiar shape. Ironically, it resembled a crouching rabbit, a poetic coincidence, since Yuto itself means jade rabbit. The story went viral, showing both the fascination and exaggeration surrounding the far side of the moon. Meanwhile, China's program continued with concrete objectives. It is believed the country is preparing the construction of a robotic base at the lunar south pole using 3D printing and local resources. The plan is to build installations directly from lunar soil, and this schedule is already underway. Change 6 returned with samples from the far side in 2024. Change 7 and 8, scheduled for the end of the decade, will search for water ice at the poles and test extraction and habitation technologies. The presence of water at the lunar south pole is one of the greatest assets. Missions like India's Chandrayaan-1 and NASA's La Crosse Confer. Deposits inside permanently shadowed craters. Water can sustain astronauts, generate breathable oxygen, and provide rocket fuel. The combination of ice, continuous sunlight on certain peaks, and radio silence on the far side 
creates the perfect environment for a long-term scientific base. China has already declared plans to build such a base with international partners outside of the US-led Artemis Accords. Meanwhile, the United States seeks to reclaim its lunar leadership with the Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon by 2027, supported by SpaceX and other private companies. China, on the other hand, plans to land its Technots by 2030 with the new Long March 10th rocket and its own lander module. The stage is set. Both nations want to establish permanent presence in the same locations, sunlit ridges near ice-rich craters. This has the potential to spark disputes. The 1967 Outer Space Treaty prohibits ownership of lunar territory but does not clearly regulate. Resource Extraction Whoever arrives first, establishes infrastructure, and sets the rules will hold global influence. The new space race has already begun, but this time it isn't just about planting a flag. It's about extracting resources, building bases, producing energy, and studying the universe in absolute silence. The moon, once abandoned, has now become the center of the struggle for the future. Whether for helium-3, strategic dominance, or scientific discovery, the far side of the moon is no longer in the dark. It is now the true proving ground of the next era of space exploration. And whatever is uncovered terra or something beyond may very well shape the destiny of our planet for generations to come.